I've designed and built a lot of wooden clamps, but these ones are the best. And I'll talk more about that as we go through the build. I'm making 10 of these and I'm using this rough maple. This is from a tree that was cut down in my backyard a few years ago. And the wood is spalted, but not spalted enough to make it remarkable. So I figured this is a good use for it right here. And I'm doing all of this on the table saw or the miter saw. I'm not using any fancy tools. Okay, so why am I calling these ones the best? These work exactly the same as the clamps you can buy. No notches in the bar, you just slide it ahead and tighten it up. I learned a lot from my previous versions and I incorporated all of that into this new design. It's easy to make and you can even use scraps because none of these parts are really that big. Unlike everything else, when you do it yourself, if it breaks, you can fix it. Or if you need more, you can make more. Now would be a good time to tell you that plans are available for this clamp. You can get them today and get started immediately. Just click the link in the description. It'll take you right there. This might seem like I'm doing a lot of cutting here, but you gotta remember that I'm working with rough lumber and so I'm cutting it down to thickness as well. And even though I'm showing a lot, it's nowhere near as much as I actually did. Of course, you can take the smoothness of these clamps as far as you want. I'm just going to do some rudimentary sanding just to get rid of some of the saw marks and also to round over the corners a little bit before I cut out the rest of the parts. I want to break in here and tell you about the Maker's Mop 72 hour summer sale. Now is your opportunity to get your first month for almost zero cost. For just 99 cents, you'll get all of my tutorials, plus more than 80 full projects from YouTube's top makers like Jimmy DeResta, The Samurai Carpenter, Liam Hoffman, Frank Howarth, John Peters, and Neil Paskin. If you're serious about improving your woodworking, you're not going to get a better deal than this. So click the link in the description. But remember, this is a limited time offer, so act fast. Like I said, I'm doing this on my table saw and my miter saw. And when it comes to cutting smaller pieces to length at 90 degrees, I always reach for my mini table saw sled. And this is mostly, ultimately, about the quality of the cut. Too often when you're cutting these small pieces, the blade catches them on the way out because you're in too much of a hurry to let it stop and it throws it halfway across the room after cutting a big gouge out of it. And that doesn't happen with the sled on a table saw. As you can see, I push the stock all the way through and leave it on the other side of the blade.
for assembly, I'm using wood glue, plus I'm driving in some 23 gauge pins to hold the parts in line until I can get it clamped up. And especially when you're making 10 of these, you wanna schedule glue ups while other parts are drying. So you always have something to do. Depending on the glue that you use, certain parts need to be left to dry longer. Like the threaded rod in the handle, plus the sandpaper on the end of the moving jaw. I use polyurethane construction adhesive for that, and I left them to dry overnight. There's another reason why these are the best clamps, and I mean overall, actually. I love using wooden clamps, and that's because they're not heavy. But that doesn't mean that they're weak. I've never had a problem getting enough force out of these clamps. All you need to have is one glue up with 30 clamps on it, and then try to move that if those are metal clamps. If you're a woodworker and you already have a selection of clamps, you don't need to build these to test that out. All you need to do is look at the clamps that you use the most, and I'm willing to bet that they're the lightest ones. After I got them fully assembled and sanded, I brought them outdoors and I sprayed on two coats of water-based polyurethane, lightly sanding with 220 grit after that first coat. Like I said before, there are plans available for these. You can go to my website, there's a link in the description. You can pick up a copy and get started right away. Mm -hmm.